What's up guys, I just got out of the shower so I thought it would be a good time to film this video. So today I wanted to talk to you about how you can have clear skin without going through like a 12 step beauty routine and spending gobs of money on skincare. So to give you a little bit about my backstory, a few years ago I was on one of those multi-step processes and I would probably spend a solid 10 minutes in the morning and 10 minutes at night on my skin. And I got okay results but it was so much money and I was putting chemicals on my face. So fast forward till now, I use barely anything on my face and I wanted to just kind of give you an idea of some of the things that I've changed that's helped me have pretty clear skin without hardly any commercial products. Close up shot of my skin so you can see kind of the results that I've been getting with just this skincare routine. Your skin is a canvas for what's going on inside of your body. So if you eat a diet that's high in sugar or processed foods, you're likely going to see that through your skin. That's one of the ways that your body detoxes is through pushing it out um, through your skin, through sweat and glands and different ways like that. So the biggest thing to do first is to just get your diet cleaned up. You want to have a diet full of vitamins, which means lots of colorful fruits that have high polyphenols, lots of green veggies and healthy fats, things like salmon, nuts, avocados. These are really great sources um, of healthy fats, olive oil, tons and tons of olive oil in your diet. Another thing that I do in my diet to help my skin is I drink some smoothies and I'll put grass-fed collagen powder inside my smoothie and it really helps just increase the building blocks to help your skin cell turnover. Spirulina is another great supplement to take which is a green algae and it contains super high nutrients that are bioavailable so that can increase your skin cell health. For example in this smoothie here I have some probiotic Greek yogurt, some kale, and a little bit of frozen strawberry and banana, and some aloe, some chaga, which is like a mushroom a powder that I use, which is really high in antioxidants. So anytime I've done a workout, I will drink one of these afterwards and just refuel my body after I just burned, you know, some calories. Another great thing to do lifestyle wise for your skin is to exercise, especially cardio. Anything that gets your heart rate pumping and moving means you're bringing more blood flow to the more parts of your bodies and it helps bring your blood back to your liver and get you detoxed a little bit better. So exercise is a huge part of maintaining health overall and it will also make your skin look more radiant. Okay, the next tip that I have for you is to wash your bedding more frequently. You might not think of this, but when you sleep at night, you're shedding dead skin cells and you're sweating and there's dust mites in your bedding. And so I was kind of complacent in this as I would wash my bedding once a month and wash my pillows once a year. But since I started washing my bedding like every two weeks, I've noticed that A, I'm sleeping better at night because I'm not breathing in all this dust and B, my skin has just been so much happier. The next tip that I have for you is to exfoliate your skin. Once a month, I do a deep exfoliation. So this is a little bit aggressive and it's something that you can get done professionally, but it's called microblading and basically how this works is it's like a razor and you hold your skin really taut like this and you kind of like shave the dead skin cells off your face. Now, if you don't have a steady hand, I wouldn't recommend doing this because the slip of the hand can give you like some nicks and never do it around this area. <laughs> but this doing this once a month has really helped just take layers of dead skin cells off my face and I always, my skin feels so soft afterwards and for, I'd say about a week or two, it's just radiant and glowing. In between the microblading, pretty much as a daily maintenance, I will just take a rough washcloth and put a little bit of coconut oil on it and scrub the crap out of my face. Like just keep scrubbing it, all the crevices, I'll scrub my neck, I'll scrub my, my chest and all that stuff and that just kind of helps take a little bit of the dead skin cells off. You can use coconut oil as a makeup remover. There's no need to use commercial makeup remover. A, coconut oil works better and B, you're saving money and then makeup removing pads 
have preservatives in them and those preservatives can be endocrine disrupting and toxic to your skin. They can dry your skin out so it's better to actually add the oil back into your skin. Which brings me to my next topic, I actually never wash my face with soap anymore. That was one of the biggest changes that helped my skin was just using this, this exfoliation and coconut oil method to scrub my face. I actually just got done doing it. Can you see here how this patch is darker than around? That's because that's the portion I used to scrub my skin and it definitely took off some of the dirt and just dead skin cells you can see by the discolorization. Another thing that's really important is just to use less products on your skin. The more products that you put on your skin, you don't really know like what is working. I only use very minimal amount of products, which I'll tell you about in a little bit. Just use products that add nutrients back into your skin versus things that are made in a lab. I just, anything that it's got like a weird name to it, I don't put it on my skin. You don't wanna wear makeup every single day. You need to give your skin a chance to breathe. I, like right now, I am wearing a very small amount of makeup under my eyes. It's a organic concealer. This is the stuff that I'm using right now. It's called Bay Blue and I got it off Amazon. Let me show it to you. Yeah, it's almost gone, but it's made with castor seed oil, coconut oil, calendula wax, rice bran wax, shea butter, jojoba seed oil, vitamin E, rosemary, and titanium dioxide. You can accomplish so much more with less when it comes to makeup. I, I know that it's great to look really done up every once in a while and I think that's awesome, but wouldn't it be better to just be so comfortable with yourself? I mean, that's just what I've been working on is just being comfortable with my own face the way that it is without anything else because it's the way that God made me and I want to you know, teach that to my children to just love yourself and not feel like you need to compete with everybody else around you. And by doing that, by wearing less makeup, your skin will breathe and be more clear and glowing in and of itself. So just to give you an idea of my daily skincare routine, I start out with, um, in the morning, half the time I don't even wash my face, to be honest. I might just like rub it with a towel really quick. Or this is what I'll do at night, but sometimes I do it in the morning, but I just take a little bit of coconut oil on this towel right here and I'll just use it to scrub my face all around and you'll see my skin gets super super red when I do this because I'm really going at it like I'm putting pressure on my hands and I'm using the tip of it I mean you can see like this is the little bit of makeup that I put on and it's taking it off so I'll get more of it and then I'll just rub it all over my face one of my friends was the one that showed me this and I was just like blown away at the results okay so here so now all the, the makeup I had like um, concealer and then it's just like a little bit of blush I forgot to tell you about that so the blush is the same brand it's bay blue and you can use it as like a blush or a lip balm and it also is made with all organic ingredients I'll link all of the products that I'm talking about below in case you want to check them out but those are my main two makeup staples I mean, talk about a budget changer. <laughs> if you were rushed for time and all you really wanted to do is just get the dead skin off your face and add some moisture, that coconut oil routine would be enough. But if you have a little bit more time, and sometimes that's all that I do, but sometimes when I'm feeling more like I wanna take care of my skin, I actually made this up. It's apple cider vinegar diluted in water, and this helps, I will spray this on my face. So. And this is basically what I use as a toner now. It helps to add back in that healthy bacteria to your face and 
restore the pH. Ever since I've started doing this, I've also noticed that like some of my old acne scars have started to fade. The last step for my more advanced skincare routine will be I'll add nutrients back. I will take some organic rosehip oil and I will mix that with sweet almond oil. And the reason that I do that is because this is really high in vitamin C and this is really high in vitamin E. And so mixing those together, studies have shown that actually improves like cells, cell health, having them together. So I'll just take a couple drops of the vitamin C, the rosehip oil, and then I'll take a couple drops of the sweet almond oil, and then I'll top it off with one of these three essential oils, either frankincense essential oil, tea tree essential oil, or patchouli essential oil. And so today I think I'm gonna pick patchouli. Patchouli essential oil is a really great essential oil, and it kind of does makes you smell a little bit like a hippie so if you really want to embrace this natural lifestyle that's one way to like go ahead and go for it but I'll just rub it together like this one minute with my hands and then put it on my face and my neck just like that I'll finish up eating my lips so patchouli essential oil is really great for anti-aging and um, helping your skin cell turnover increasing collagen production I actually used this. I have a blog post about how I used to have um, breast implants. That's a whole other video that I could do, but I do have a blog post telling my story about that. Um, but I mean, I've come a long way going from breast implants and like the 12 step skincare regimen to where I'm at right now. But um, I used this patchouli oil to help the skin heal and it tightened my skin up and my, my explant surgery went really well. I healed really well from it. The other um, essential oil that I like to use is tea tree oil. This is just really good, especially if you have acne. Um, and then frankincense essential oil is really good for anti-aging. You can have beautiful skin without all of these commercial products. And it's just as simple as thinking about your skin as another piece of your body that needs to be nourished and cared for with healthy lifestyle it's all interconnected you know most skin problems if you try to isolate them and say oh it's a hormone problem or oh it's a um, you know an acne problem so let me put this acne medicine on there you're not going to get the same results that you will if you take care of the body as a whole all right guys thanks for watching this video i hope it was helpful if it was please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more healthy living tips There's just nothing like a good old smoothie for the tummy. It just makes... Mm.